The learning phase is when we are trying to establish control limits for the process. We have a learning set of data, which we use to establish the limits. Once we've established sensible control limits from our learning set of data, and have a set of limits for a stable process, we can move into the operating phase. In the operating phase, we plot data live on the control chart. Now we can monitor the performance of the process. Is it remaining stable over time, or is it changing? If assignable causes are present, we should investigate them. In the learning phase, the control limits can be recalculated under the following conditions. 1. If the initial chart is created from a small amount of data, you can recalculate the limits once an appropriate amount of data has been collected. 2. If an assignable cause is found in the learning phase data and it is then investigated and understood, you can recalculate the control limits by omitting this point from your calculation whilst retaining it on the chart. 3. If an assignable cause is indicated and an investigation is not possible or is inconclusive, but the effect of the cause is so large that it's extremely unlikely it happened by chance, or if this one piece of data has a significant impact on the process limits, you can recalculate the limits without this point, but continue to show the point on the chart. Here's a summary of the rules. Study them carefully. It's important to keep the existing control limits on the charts during the operating phase. They can only be recalculated when the answer to all of the following four questions is yes. 1. Is there evidence of an assignable cause? 2. Is the cause of this known? 3. Is the change in the process an improvement desirable? And 4. Is the change sustainable?